Welcome back, everyone, to episode seven of our Let's Play series in Clockwork Empires. Now, where we left off last time is we had set up to get some mining done because we are now working on ammunition here, the stone pellet ammo. So we're going to try to maintain quite a bit of that. And where are we using that? Well, right now, the only person using it is right here, our naturalist. And we've got him busy doing some mineral surveys. But we're also going to add a module in here. Let's see, not the naturalist office, but the barracks. There we go. And we're going to have an improvised musket locker in here as well. Okay, and it was showing, uh, by the way, that we already had one of those made. So apparently we do. And we're going to go ahead and have them put, let's see, let's go ahead and have them put, oh goodness, we've got world events, which I'm sure are very important, but just not to me right now. All right, so let's see if we can get that. We'll put that in there. So that'll give a couple of items in there. Let's see what the naturalist wants in here. So, naturalist, where are you? There we go. And a practical cabinet. Let's get this spun around. Yeah, sometimes it's hard for me to tell what it's available. Okay, we're going to put that there. Anything else? Looks like we've got... No, nope, looks like that's it. So we're going to go ahead and put a couple of those down in there. See if we can't get the happiness increased. All right, okay. So we've just gotten a survey. It looks like completed. And... Oh, he's working on one. Okay. He's discovered a source of coal. And I take it that means this one right here. Although it doesn't really tell me. Because we have another one right here. There we go. So we're going to get coal right here. And coal, I believe, is a major component of gunpowder. I believe that's right. But we'll, again, we'll get there. And let's see about some terrain because one thing we're going to need is somewhere to build a mine so we're going to have a mine here and a mine i would prefer to have as much area as possible to actually build a mine so i'm going to see if we can actually go and flatten as much of this as we can in and around the area because what I would like to do is build a mine here and then have a couple of mining shafts going off either side so we can get coal on one side. And it looks like he is not working on that one at the moment. So, okay, so what else do we need to get going? Well, it looks like we've got our musket locker that's going on here. Now, I'm going to, for the time being, I'm going to leave our other uh, army faction over here. I'm going to leave them on the pistol. And the reason is because I don't want to run out of ammo in the middle of a battle or something. So I'm going to try to ration this out a little bit until we get a better idea of what's going on. Now, with that in mind, we need some more people. I need some more overseers and I need a lot more laborers. Uh, because we're in, at a point now here, if you look at our population, we have 28 total people. But our workplace capacity is 9 out of 9, meaning that I don't have any more... Uh, that I can assign overseers to jobs and meaning I need more overseers. All right, so let's do housing and we're going to do overseer housing first. And let's try a, let's see, we're going to try a five by five. I've seen that mentioned in the comments. Uh, thank you very much. We're going to try that uh, for laborers and the overseer housing. So we're going to give it a shot. Again, it may not be perfect. But either way, we're going to give this a shot. And let's see, we're going to put one here, two, and three. That'll give us room for three. And then we're going to put one, two, three practical cabinets in here. I believe that's the name of it, isn't it? Yeah, practical cabinets. 
for there. And again, we're going to let that run its course. Okay, our musket lockers are in place here. So we're going to change this group to improvised musket. Again, we're going to get one additional damage and five additional range. So that's excellent. That's exactly what we need. And, oh, a ravenous herd. All right, so let's see what we get here with the ravenous herd. If you remember from previous episodes, there was a ravenous herd of, it was the beetle-like creatures coming through, but they didn't really do anything. I, I saw a few beetles come through, but they didn't really do much. So we'll see how that pans out. For now, let's go back to building our housing. We need labor housing. Is it going to let me start building this? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, so we're going to build a couple of five by fives here, if I can get it right. There we go. A five by five there. And click done. And let's go ahead and put a door up there before I completely forget about it. And now we're going to put some cots in here. Let's see if I can get these in. One, two, and three. Okay, so that gets our cots. We're going to put some clotheslines in here. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to try to keep these updated as we go. And again, we'll see how it goes. And I do want one more building for the laborers. And we're going to make this one a five by five as well. Uh, that seems to work out pretty good so far. Uh, a five by five room gives us, gives us room for three cots in here, which is great. And it also gives us room to hang, oh wait, we gotta put a door in here. I almost forgot, I went to, I got too excited about putting clotheslines in here, I almost forgot to put, all right, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now of course we're gonna need to make all of these and we'll get started on that. Let's go ahead and speed up our time. So that will give us the ability to expand our population, get more overseers in here, as well as more laborers because the ultimate goal for me is if we take a look at the uh, laborer population versus the, oh, we have one additional worker who has showed up. Now, I don't want to give him to the naturalist because my understanding is it doesn't really help the naturalist to do much. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it does. So we're going to go ahead and add this, this one person to the barracks because we are one person away now, one laborer away from having two full barracks, which is my goal for now. Hopefully that'll be enough for the time being. And we got more fish people around. So far, they haven't been uh, terrible to us, but as always, we shall see. Now with that in mind, let's head over here and let's have our plank production really ramp up here. And let's see, what else can we make in our workbench? All right, I'm going to go ahead and set up cots to be made. Keep a minimum of three there. And then here, let's see, do I want to go practical beds? I'm not sure because I actually think I need some other items. I'm not sure how many beds we have left. I could look here in just a moment. Okay, so let's see, what do we need? Yeah, I think we, we better go with the beds for now. Let's maintain a minimum of three there. Okay, so the decor. All right, so we need to get to work on, what was it? Uh, I've already forgotten what it was. Let's go ahead and do the small clotheslines for now and have them maintain a minimum, uh, let's say three of those. Okay, now that will... Get them off and running. This guy is doing what? He just made, okay, he just made a practical bed. So that tells me that we ought to be up and running here, and we are. Excellent. Okay, so things are getting done. And you can see we've got clothesline and stuff in here. We're up to a plus two in this area. Excellent. That's exactly what we need. What do we got here? Oh, there's some ammo somebody has just left out in the woods here. Okay, let's see how we're doing over in this area. Okay, nobody is currently working on flattening this terrain. 
let's see what kind of jobs we got going on. Okay, do not work there or there. These are basically idle jobs as best I can tell. I want them to work on clearing the terrain or flattening the terrain in our case. Okay, it looks like they're working on that now. That's good. Uh, we may need to expand that out because basically I want to make this entire area buildable on some level. And we'll see how that goes and we'll we'll do that. So we've got work doing going on on construction. And I don't really see what they're working on. Okay, they're putting into beds. Okay, excellent. Okay, and while I'm thinking about it, let's take a look at the overseer house and practical practical cabinets. Okay, so that if we're gonna have to make some more, it'll be practical cabinets that we'll make. I see more modules going in here. It looks like that's another bed, and it is. So we now have room for one additional overseer, and I'm sure that's going to increase as we continue on, as well as look like we got all these modules to put in as well. Okay, but they're working on it. We've got the door. You can see the door is in. We've got one bed is in. One is ready to be taken care of there. So we're so far so good. Okay, we've got our time accelerated. And let's see what else we've got. Uh, that reminds me, we need some modules down here as well. So let's go to our barracks and put up Let's see, let's get, let's put them over here. One, two, three. And we're gonna put a simple cabinet over here in this corner. And that should get us some building quality going. So yeah, we ought to be in good shape here for when, especially for when we eventually expand and get some better uh, tools in here, some better weapons for them to use. Okay, looks like we got two beds now. Everything is moving along. Okay, that's wood that they've got stacked up here. I wasn't sure. Okay, mineralogical survey. So it looks like he has found, is it another source of coal? Oh, that would be unfortunate because I was kind of hoping to get better than that. But that may be what we get. Yep, so we're going to have coal there. Okay, well, that's not what I was hoping for. But let's see what else we have in the area. Okay, so take a quick glance at what we have. 18 logs, we have no stone to speak of. So, all right, we need to get busy building a a mine. We need some more planks to do that. Are you gonna let me build anyway? No, you're not. Okay, so we got coal here and here. That actually makes sense, it's that close together. So now I'm gonna need to find a different area. Let's see, so we got coal. Okay, so let's get rid of these two and see what else we've got out a little bit farther because I'm having him work on that. All right, let's bring it back into, whoops, gone too far. Let's bring it back in and see, whoops. Love it when they walk right in my way as I'm doing. Okay, so we've run out of planks working on beds and let's see what we need all right so yeah here we go now we're getting things done so we've got some practical cabinets being put in more clotheslines it looks like are still underway as far as construction but let's take a look at the the quality of our rooms if we can anyway so we've got zero quality here and if I move over one, we got zero, whoops, wrong one. Yes, yeah, so zero quality in both of those right now, which is fine. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but. All right, so it looks like we got a trader coming in. Unfortunately, trading did not work out as I had hoped in this game, because while there are definitely some things that we can gain from the traders, and they're here. Um, it did not turn out as I had hoped, for sure. Okay, what I need now is to be able to build a mine. There we go. 
And do we have any room to build a mine? Not yet. Okay, because these guys need to... Okay, the burial, which unfortunately never seems to happen. Okay, so we got these guys. They're working on it. But unfortunately, I'm just not sure they're going to get as much as I need done. My plan is to have two mine shafts over here. And with that in mind, I actually think it's time that I could make another mine shaft. Okay, don't have anything open right now. Because uh, I don't think our cots are quite ready to go. So... Oh, we got immigrants. Here we go. All right, so we have two overseers. Excellent. That's what I needed. And that should, it gives us now four overseers that are unassigned. And with that in mind, we should really be able to get some terrain taken care of. And you can see that they're working hard on that. And with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and work on that. Let's go ahead and have you do that. Let's see what you're working on there. No, you're not working on what I thought you were working on. Let's have you do that. Okay, so once again, I see ammo laying around on the ground. All right, so again, we're trying to get this entire area here ready to go, and they're working on it. Not quite as quickly, maybe, as I would prefer, but we are doing it nonetheless. Okay, so everybody looks like they're doing pretty good. Now what we need are additional workers to come in, additional laborers. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's got another one. What has he got here? Let's see what he's he's working on it. And no, it looks like maybe he's not done yet. But he's working on it. And so he has actually found, if, if you're wondering, we're down toward the bottom here of the map. I'm actually upside down. So he has finally gotten to an area that's around water. Once again, I don't see any sand that I can harvest. So the plan still remains in place that we're going to do that uh, through the mines. Okay, let's come back over here and see. Okay, that's where he's at. Well, I thought it was going to show me the, the survey, but apparently not. Okay. So these guys are just working away. All right. Things are improving. Looks like worldwide. That's perfectly fine, but it does not help me out any at all. <laughs> right now, because what I need more than anything right now is get some additional laborers. It looks like we're running out of logs and stone. So we're going to chop some trees. Let's see. Is there a near a set of trees that are very nearby? There's a couple right there. And not too many around this general area. It looks like I've already cut most of these. Okay. So that's that's several. Now let's go ahead and have them mine some nodes, some surface nodes. That'll give us some clay right there. And, of course, it would be dark whenever I'm trying to do this, naturally. Trying to find any type of stone, really, because the more stone I can find, the better off we're going to be. So we got two coal right there. we got more coal over here, more coal over here. So apparently... They think we need a lot of coal on this particular map. All right, so we got night that's fallen now. So not a whole lot's going to happen. Let's see what we got. We got 19 assignments right now. And so we're going to be mining, flattening terrain, constructing building, which doesn't appear to be happening. 
But other than that, everything seems fairly peaceful. Which is what I like. Let's see, another mineralogical survey. It looks like he surveyed right there. Oh, no, that's just, it was putting us on him. Okay, so he's busy just working away on these minerals. And boy, that's, when you're, when you're that kind of happy, that's when you know things are good. Okay, and tell you what, while we're at it, we need to go ahead and go ahead and flatten some of this as well. That'll give us room to build additional back here. Again, we're making quite the disturbance on the area, but that's okay. That's going to lead to some action, I would, have, I would imagine, before too long. Okay, we've got overseers available, but unfortunately, what I need for them to do right now is put these cots in place, among other things. And we've got food going in. Building quality here isn't terrible, but it's not really good either. Uh, building quality is terrible in there. That's because of all the workstations and workshops that we've got. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got practical beds clotheslines and do we have any cots let's come back over here yeah so we've got some cots there unfortunately they just not don't seem to be all that interested in in working on them all right with that in mind i think we're going to call it a day here looks like oh we got some bandits in here and that bandit did not make out good at all. So our guys are steadily chasing these bandits around and looks like to me making short work of them. And that is exactly what I like to see. So this guy, all right, so we're going to take him and bury him. And let's see. So things seem to be going pretty good there. More ravenous herd that we've never actually seen. All right, so it looks like things are happening. Sometimes it's very easy to miss these because I didn't even notice the bandits attack. I got to pay more attention to the uh, dialogue that pops up to the right here. And so we'll come back next time. And our next episode, hopefully we'll be able to complete these cots and, and then we'll be able to push forward with mining and other activities as we continue our Let's Play series of Clockwork Empires.